two by four ways. I can finish up the, la the leg work for the last two tables. I don't know if I'll get the base part done. Well, that's my foot there or not, but at any rate. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to get this measured up and cut up and get everything ready. So I've noticed something in these uh, 2 by 4 by 8s These 2 by 4 by 8s are about 89 and 3 quarters long. When you buy a 2 by 4 by 8 from the hardware store, they're not the full 8 feet. They're like a quarter short or something. Well, this one here, well, all, all six of these, uh, where am I going here? Six, seven, there's 90. One, two, three, four. But six inches shorter. Now, because of that, I can't turn one of these into two legs. However, that's not too much of a problem. I can reuse the other ends. It's just a matter of um, careful, careful planning. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, for the ones that are, what did I say? It was 46 and a half. Something like that. Anyway, the taller ones that are matching the rest of these 2 by 4s I'm going to put them along the back wall because that's the important, super important bit where the little back cup's going to be on and all that too. And these shorter ones, I will place them uh, on the in or on the outside here. They'll still support the second level. It will be the 4 by 4 section, but they're not going to stick up. I was planning to cut them down if they're going to be a problem anyway. So... Uh, yeah, so I'm just hoping they'll be tall enough afterwards to fit when I measure things up. So uh, I'll get back to cutting these and uh, we'll see what happens next. Now I caught myself into a big mistake, and I'm thankful that these are one. Of the, these are the two helix sections, because um, basically I got one A and one B. One B, I believe, is on the outside of the table. Now, <clears throat> when I cut this hole out, I meant to cut the hole this way, so when this sticks up, it'll stick up th um, through like so, right? 
and then the other one beside it will also stick up like so. Now, I can plug in the access mask later, it's no big of a deal. Uh, track isn't going to go through that anyway. However, a turntable will be in this board at some point. And let's see, so yes. I mean, I could put them in this way, bring it up. Um, thinking, thinking, thinking. It would probably be safe if I went this way. A little bit at the back, one up, one up, uh, one up. Then one up the other way. Yeah, I think I'll do the front sleeves away. Whew. So, back to work. Well, there's one. Not a bad fit. Whew. So, I got to correct those ones. Okay, so with both ends got their um, slots dug up for the holes, now comes the fun part of installing the legs. Last time I had to fight with it a bit and steady one hand and make sure the measurements remain the same. However, I remember I got some scrap, uh, scrap wood here, and I'm just going to use what I have for shims. So, uh, basically each back leg of these current tables is about 18 and a half inches. So for these ones here, I need about 18 and a half. And right now I'm at 18. So if I put one more 2x4 in, that might make it too thick. That brings me up to 19 and a half, so it won't do. Anyway, I'm gonna fill this and get these on, and I'll be right back again with the power of editing magic. Now remember earlier how I said. I'm going to have to really be careful with these other shorter ends. Basically, when I put them in, this here is going to be one of the first two. And yes, this is sort of one of the first three. So, ooh, excuse me. So I'm going to slip, um, set this one up, but I got to measure uh, this one here, for example. Well, no, I'll have to use the one with the blue styrofoam on it because I got to have about a one inch, uh, one inch gap, right? Not one inch gap, sorry a 12 inch gap. So between the first scene and where the second layer begins the next scene. So I gotta measure up where the bottom of that ply was gonna be at and figure out from there. So uh, wish me luck and when I do come back this should all be complete and hopefully I got things kind of where I want them. Well, folks, the majority of the work is done. I am, however, ran out of 2x4 length for right here. Uh, yeah, these are a little bead. That's okay. That's an error on my part. And it's not like these other 2x4s I bought from the store or recycled elsewhere too, uh, were straight to begin with. So, but yeah, I'm just really happy that I'm like, this far done, you know, like, I wasn't rushing it. I used a jigsaw board for my neighbors for the most part of this construction, which has been fantastic. Because one, jigsaws are safe to use, easy to use. Um, however, if you're like me and you're using your thumb as a guide, your cuts are going to be 100% straight. But again, overall, everything's good, it's fastened. And now moving forward comes to the next phase. Um, that's not starting the next level yet. That's me going to town. Um, like if I go to another, like another town, I'll see what they got for little coaster wheels, I'll see them grab a bunch of them. But for now, once a week, while they, because for some reason my local store is store about four of these wheels at a time, grab four of them once a week, go down when they resupply again. And speaking of resupplying, COVID is still a thing, so I don't know if they're stocking up every week as normal, or if they're going to be delayed every two weeks or three weeks. So, yeah. But at any rate... Thanks for watching, folks. This has been another model 
little t- trade table update for the day or the week or start of the month. Yeah, we're December now, aren't we? Yeah, start of the month. So next time I should hopefully have that corner lined up with the table the camera's on right now and set up to go, I hope. Everybody, take care. We'll see you next time.